Okay, we just finished the evasive defense drills. Now we're going to go into level three defense, which is manipulations, okay? My philosophy is that uh, when we're evading, we're trying to move out of the way of something. I don't, if you're, I'm in the middle of the street and a car is coming, my natural response is to get out of the way. I see a punch coming in, I'm gonna get out of the way. We worked that in the previous level, we did it very technically. And as I was figuring out how to do that, I started, again, enhancing my line recognition and timing. So now I can start to manipulate my opponent's techniques with parries, uh, deflections, okay? And if you wanna get very technical, you're gonna see some things maybe from Wing Chun come out, uh, which for me have been very successful in sparring if you know how to use them right, okay? If you don't have to get into a Kung Fu mode to use them, you we're still in a boxing mode, but now you have a couple of hand options. So I'm gonna go over a few of these, okay? So the first one's pretty simple. I'm gonna parry and I move my head offline. The reason why I say move the head offline because sometimes my parry might be a little late to the game and I don't wanna just stand there and do this, okay? So move the head to the side a little bit. It's not a slip, it's just making sure that between both of these, the punch should not touch you, it's a deflection, okay? So I'm manipulating, so I parry, I could parry the jab of the cross this way, okay? So it's just a rear hand parry, just like that, okay? Then I have a lead hand parry. Notice that my hand is already out in front. This actually makes a lot of sense for us Jeet Kune Do guys is to use the lead hand to parry, okay? So I move my head to the side and I deflect that way. Don't over parry. Don't push your hands out. Look, I have no defense, okay? I spring the hand back, just like that. Touch and spring it back. Don't hold it, pop it, just like that. Springs back, springs back, okay? Now, when the hooks come in, I'm going to high block, just like that. So I have parry, parry, high block, okay? And high block here. When I start manipulating, right now I am not striking back, but just think down the road that when I parry, I will eventually uh, strike at the same time. But right now that we're talking just defense, we haven't even got, in, got into counters, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, so high cover here, high cover, high cover. The other side, notice I'm still trying to keep my guard when I cover. I'm here, cover, cover. And these are for the hooks. We're gonna go over this in a partner drill, okay? So again, parry, parry, high cover, high cover. It's important to frame. I don't wanna to go too far out, but I also don't wanna to be too shallow. And you'll, you'll learn this when you start to do partner drills, how much force well, uh, you need to hold in your structure in order to make sure you're not eating the punch, okay? Uh, you'll, you'll know where to frame it um, and uh, kind of uh, what strength level is required to hold uh, uh, the resistance on that, um, the, the defense, okay? So these are manipulations, very simple. Parry, parry, high block, high block like that. So parry, parry, high block, high block. Now, punch is going down to the body. I like to use these form it's kind of like, um, I, I don't know, uh, I know Wing Chun kind of use, calls out a jam sao or something like that. We just say it's a forearm slant. So as I'm, I'm boxing and somebody throws in a jab, I pop it just like that. I don't want my hand to fall below my elbow where I'm blocking like this because that's where I get baited. If I go here and I just pop it right back up and I'll show this in the partner drill, I just pop there, pop there, okay? So here and here, really simple. These are very basic. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Notice I still keep my guard up, okay? Work through these basic defenses. I have a lot more advanced ones that will get you good counters. We'll show that in future videos, okay? But just work through this. Okay, so we're back to talk about the partner drills for the manipulations, the third level of defense, okay? So we went through covers, we went through evasions, and now we're into manipulations, okay? So let's talk about what that means. When she throws her jab, I have my parry just like that. And if you notice how it redirects her hand, punch right at the face, look how, pull back, pull back, good. You can feel that it's a little harder to pull back because I'm changing the route. If she, don't hit me in the face, but throw a straight jab. Pull it right back, good. Recover, go. Good, that feels really comfortable, you feel good with that, but when I start to parry it, 
Uh, now it starts to change the path and her muscles have to work a little bit harder to recover that hand. That's what's nice about parrying. But I don't want to just parry all day. It should uh, come with follow-up striking uh, with opportunities for uh, when, when her guard is down or open, okay? So when we're here, she's going to throw the jab. I have my parry with my head movement. She throws a cross. I have my parry with the head movement. She throws a high hook. I have my arm guard. Hit the head, okay? Don't be afraid to hit the head. Jab, cross, and hit the head. Good. Notice how I'm blocking and covering that. In, in some of the things that we do, we might call that a jung sao. Some, some people might say, well, it looks like a bia sao. If it protected you, it doesn't really matter which one it is, okay? It's just a high cover, okay? But I'm manipulating it because I'm blocking it. It's not me, if she throws that hook again, it's not me covering the hook uh, kind of passively, we'll say. This is me more intercepting it, that when she goes, I might also strike like this. And we see this, you know, JKD guys love this stuff, is to defend a punch and hit at the same time. We love this, okay? It's part of what we do. And if she throws the hook on this side, it's the same thing. I cover here, okay? So jab, cross, double hook. One and two, perfect. One more time. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so now, what if she goes straight to the body? We talked about this, okay? So if she throws a jab down at the body, if I drop my hand down, she's gonna loop that hand around and just punch me right in the face. Just like that, perfect. So do that, just, just do that in flow a little bit. So if you punch straight and I go like that, yeah. So maybe I'll get my hand back up on time. If I'm really well trained, I might come back up. But if she's quicker than me, I'm gonna get punched right in the head just like that, okay? So what I wanna do, don't drop the arm where the hand goes below the elbow. Instead, bounce the hand down like that. Recover the hand straight, like that, good. So I'm just deflecting it offline, okay? Just like that. And I could hit at the same time, or bounce off of it and hit. Okay, this is really good. Sometimes we call this uh, Jeet Sao, or it could be Jam Sao, but uh, Jeet Sao is going to intercept and pick, pick up um, a block and a hit together, okay? And if she throws the cross, we're back in our fighting stance, throw the cross at the body, please. Good, okay? And so I'm just deflecting. Notice how my shoulder comes forward. I'm not trying to turn my whole body, but my shoulder, back up a little bit. If I throw my shoulder forward, I can deflect that. If I keep it in the back, it feels like a lot of arm effort to come over here, and she might actually score the shot. But if I bring the shoulder forward, we're moving, and I just go like that, and then jab cross, jab cross, 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 jab cross, good. Just like that, good. Go to high line, then go low, just like that, high, and low. Notice, again, don't drop your hands down. Drop your body, bring your forearms uh, to the center line, okay? So if I cover all of these, this is my manipulation, the way that I kind of showed how all this looks. I said, when she throws a jab, I parry the jab. I parry the cross. I cover the hook, I cover the hook, and the low jab, and the low cross. Pretty simple. That's me manipulating. There's a lot more manipulations. Nao saos, toy saos, hoon saos, cow saos. Right, cup style, we have all that stuff for the different punches um, and kicks and things like that. So right now we're keeping it pretty basic and all the things that you were practicing earlier now make sense. You see how this looks with a training book.